You've decided to work from home and launch a venture that you can cart along with your luggage from one base to another. But before you launch a product-based venture, check the business owning rules at your military base. Hello ladies, I'm Chandana Banerjee of www.chandanabanerjee.com. I'm an Amazon best-selling author of the Work From Home Military Wife an artist at my own art brand Jugnu Story Art writer and wellness coach i'm also an air force wife and homeschooling mom and have been self employed for 14 years i've created multiple careers from home from remote areas across the country and have juggled my work and passions with everything else that comes with being an armed forces wife through my series be your own boss from anywhere i hope to help all of you start that venture that you've been dreaming of and today we are talking about the rules for running a product based venture at your base here in india military spouses cannot set up a venture at home that involves selling physical products to the community at the military base at certain bases though with permission wives can sell physical products to the friends and neighbors as long as they let the local welfare association know about their business and donate a certain percentage of sales to them alternatively they can place some of their products in the store at the base many military spouses create virtual ventures and sell products to customers outside the base through online stores also Service based ventures are easier to run because these do not involve selling tangible products. Entrepreneurship norms change from one base to another, one country to another. If you're planning to set up a business selling tangible goods to the military community at your base, do check the rules and take permission before you launch your product. Here are a few ways of being an entrepreneur while living in a foggy community. one create a service oriented business by this i mean a venture through which you're offering a service to your clients it could be health coaching nutrition consulting online marketing graphic designing content writing counseling and many more a service is an intangible product and you can do this work via skype facetime emails and whatsapp two make a web page instagram page or facebook business page to sell your handmade or sourced products to your clients even if you keep a portion of your products in your welfare association shop or have taken permission to sell within the base be sure to keep on growing your client base online why because for all you know the next base you get posted to you may not be allowed to sell directly to people at the base or you may go to a place where there are no avenues for selling your products directly Three, use your talents to create a program for the children of women at the base. You may have to do this at a voluntary basis or for very less money, but teaching is a very good way of honing your skills further. You can always build on this and offer workshops for a good fee when you get posted to a bigger town. Things to think about: What kind of venture do you want to set up? A tangible product-based business or one offering a service of coaching? What are the rules at your base and in your country about selling goods from home? Do you need to take permission before you sell to your community? Do let me know your thoughts on this by leaving a comment below. And hey, if you found this podcast helpful, do like and share it. And of course, please subscribe to my channel for loads of interesting content that I'm planning and creating. To read the entire Be Your Own Boss from Anywhere series as well as interviews of successful millpreneurs hop over to my blog www.chandanabanerjee.com and to be part of the exclusive Facebook group by the same name Be Your Own Boss from Anywhere search us on Facebook and send us a joining request till next time see you and take care bye bye